Cost, volume, profit, problem one. Here we're going to be categorizing costs. So Raymore Company would like to, first of all, classify the following costs according to their cost behavior and to calculate the fixed cost, variable cost, or mixed cost as appropriate. So we have the values for two months, July and August. We have the sales in units, 1500, 1600, and we have the costs of the three different types here, A, B, and C. Now let's look at the, recall the structure of the three types of costs we're talking about. Now fixed costs are fixed regardless of the number of units. So the way of recognizing a fixed cost is you're going to have a constant total cost. Now variable costs are fixed per unit, on a per unit basis. So there's going to be a linear relationship. So a, a, a variable cost is, uh, if I take, if uh, two units cost uh, 2x, five units will cost 5x, 10 units will cost 10x. Now mixed costs are by definition a mixed, co it's a combination of the two we have fixed, and then we're gonna have a variable component. So fixed costs, we simply need to look at this and ask ourselves the question, are any of these costs constant? And as you can see, uh, B is a fixed cost because here we have two different values for the number of units. We have 1,500 and 1,600, and B has the same cost. That's not the case for A or C. So B is the fixed cost. Now for variable cost, we need to uh, look at it and ask ourselves, do uh, any costs have the relationship that the total costs are a certain value per unit? So that would be the variable cost times the number of units. So if we, if we take the total cost and divide them by the number of units, that means we should get a constant value, which is the variable cost per unit. So let's take a look at cost A. We have here 35,000 over 1,500. So that would be 23.33. And then, then we have the second one, which is 36,000 over 1,600 units, and that's 22.5. So clearly, this is not a variable cost. We have a different value. Now let's look at C. We have here, for C, we have 67,500 for the July and 72,000 for August. So if we take a look at July, 67,500 over 1,500, that gives us 45 per unit on average. And if you look at August, we will also get 45 uh, per unit on av average. So that means C is a variable cost. So that leaves us with cost A as a mixed cost. Let's calculate just to confirm for it to be an appropriate mixed cost, you would have to have a constant, some, some fixed value that is positive. A negative one doesn't really make economic sense. And then you'd have a positive variable cost. So first of all, the variable cost would be uh, calculated or can be determined by seeing what is the increase in cost uh, due to an increase of the number of units produced or sold. Well, that means the change in cost is some the variable cost that we're going to calculate out of that mixed cost times the change in the number of units. So we here we have a change of 100 from 1500 to 1600, and we'll have a change in costs of 1000. As you can see, you just take, you take the 36,000 minus 35,000 over 1600 minus 1500, so you have 10. So that means for each extra unit being manufactured and sold, we have an increase of cost in cost of $10 per unit. And then we saw for the fixed portion, that means the total has to equal the uh, variable portion plus whatever this fixed cost is. So $35,000 has to equal 1,500 times the variable cost per unit, which we calculated as 10, plus a fixed portion. Well, then the fixed portion has to be $20,000. Um, you'll find out that August will give you the same answer. I'll leave that up to you to calculate. So now we have the answer for each of them. Cost A is a mixed cost, which we calculated and has an appropriate characteristic, $20,000 plus $10 times the number of units. Uh, just wanted to point out, of course, uh, we had a positive value for both the fixed cost and the variable cost per unit, because otherwise it would have, uh, as I mentioned, been not very sensible, or wouldn't have made very much economic sense. Cost B, as you can see, is fixed cost with the characteristic of total cost being 
$16,000. And finally, cost C was the variable cost, and that was total cost equals $45 per unit times the number of units. So hopefully that helped, this overview, and thank you for your attention.